This is Shiloh from Coop de Lou Art Studio. You are in the room where all the magic happens. I'm Shiloh, nice to meet you. Okay, so this is the deck. The deck's been done for a while. And then, here is the introduction to the writing. So I'm just gonna kind of show you my process. So, I'm just gonna kind of quickly show you some of these. It started in my journal. This is one of my art journals. <laughs> and I was doing it for me. Rest your tired eyes. Build the castle. I'll read you the one that um, costs like a trucker. And then try it on for size. And then I realized it was going to be huge. So I took it out of my journal. And I put it on this paper at first. A caged bird singing. Falling up. Make believe. And I have written all of these stories with my non-dominant hand. And completed the artwork with my non-dominant hand. And it's amazing what has come out. This is Try Again, and When I Grow Up. Talk Back, Clean Up Your Mess, My Mask, Conduct a Symphony. And then, I had to move to a, like a book. <laughs> Tell Me a Story, it needs to be finished, but Paint Your Skull. I just wanna show you my mess of deck creation because although it's, it might not be beautiful, it completely works. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be such a fun adventure of a deck for healing your inner child and just accessing your inner child and doing art and doing writing and remembering your past and writing those stories down before you forget them or before you're gone and your loved ones don't hear them. I mean, there's just so many reasons to get in touch with your inner child. <laughs> Cuss like a trucker. Here it is. So here we go. At school yesterday, a boy stuck his middle finger up at me. Now remember, these are channeled from my inner child. I... Didn't really think about what I was writing because it's really hard for me to write with my left hand and um, also to do art with my left hand. So don't judge it. It's messy. All of the kids started, all the kids laughed and started doing it too. I recent, I really didn't know what it means. So I asked my older cousin after school, you're not going to believe this. It means a really bad word. It is kind of hard to be to do so I've been practicing a lot there's this girl named joy that teases me about my dresses on the way home from school every day tomorrow I'm going to stick up my middle finger at her if she says anything about my dress <laughs> so I was walking home from school in first grade that day when I did flip her off and my mom drove by and saw me and she took back these, I had a strawberry shortcake bedroom, and she took my pillows back to the store, and she didn't bring them back ever. Like, <laughs> that was so bad, I got busted in first grade for sticking at my middle finger. Yeah. Maybe that's why I cussed like a trucker. I'll read one more, let's see. These are all true stories. They're all um, stories that are relevant and have something to do with everybody. So this is my true love. My true love is my dog. <laughs> my true love. I thought it was this boy in my class named Waylon, but he doesn't even know who I am. I wear my kid's dresses to school and he doesn't even notice me. Lots of girls like him too, so he could have his pick. Why would he even choose the lanky girl with knocking knees, a bony butt, and freckles? It's hard to read. Buck teeth and freckles. 
He'll probably want the most popular girl like Missy or Kissy. Or he'll probably like a girl who will kiss him. That's not me. I have to wait to do that stuff for when I'm married. I think I'll just stick with my dog. <laughs> True.